Hey there, this is Bill Salady. I want to show you some things that we commonly find on home inspections that you could remove or fix or repair before you put the house up for sale. Make the home inspection go smoother, the buyer would be happier, and uh, just the overall experience go a little better for not much money. A lot of it's handyman type stuff. So, let's see here. Every home inspector is going to write up a corner pop. So you see the corner of the foundation has popped off. It's a cosmetic item, but some home inspectors will scare you to death and tell you you have home foundation problems, but you don't. Uh, caulk the interface between the siding and the brick. That's real common. I write it up every time I see the gap in the caulking. Over here, you've got the columns that the dog has peed on too many times. So why not do some caulking and painting and repair or replace any wood that's rotted before you put the house up for sale. Um, this is some damage from a swing. So the home inspector isn't going to know if that's from a swing or not. So why not just repair the damaged siding or replace the damaged siding on the post before you put the house up for sale. Um, okay, so we've got gaps between the siding boards and the trim here that definitely needs some caulking and painting. Got a damaged screen, so that's going to make the window section because the screen is damaged. Got some, uh, my friend Greg calls it a growth of an unknown organism. Let's just call it mold. It's outside on the screen door, but it's still mold. Got some pet damage on the door. Might want to fix that threshold that's not supported that's going to make the door section screen door screen is damaged let's walk around a little bit more and see what else we can find here uh, paint jobs then at the back of the home got to get that touched up got some damaged siding here that's going to be called out need to get that fixed uh, fence is in good shape. Most inspectors aren't going to put fence on their report, but you know, um, could make the report. Covered up the hose bib here, but let's take a look at it. It's not caulked to the wall. So, sealing all penetrations, plumbing, electrical, windows, doors, those type of things are going to be checked. Um, mm. Gate's not opening well. That'll make the report. And this is the side of the house where there's a possibility that the cable ends would stick out. And it looks like they've all been patched up. Oh wait, here's one maybe. Got a little hole in the face of the slab there. Probably just recommend a cosmetic type repair. Glazed beads look good, but if you notice, the windows need to be re and a little bit of mortar touch up on the brick. Let's see what we find over here. So this is the TPR and our drain pan for the water heater. And you see neither one of them is within six inches of the ground. It's a real simple thing, just extend the pipe down. But TPRs and emergency drain pans, that sounds like a really big deal for you know, 10 inches of PVC pipe. Why not fix it before they get here? Remove the excess foam and caulk around it and paint it. Is a little bit out of level, so might as well level it before they get here. Otherwise, I'm going to recommend an air conditioning contractor do it. That's going to cost 130 bucks an hour. Uh, emergency disconnect is not behind the unit, but it is kind of covered up by bushes, so might be good to trim the bushes back. The bushes are touching the house. Well, they're going to have that in the WDI, wood destroying insect information. Because carpenter ants have dainty little toes and they'd rather climb up a bush than climb up the brick. So trim the bushes back off of the wall so that the carpenter ants are not invited into your home. Let's see what else we got here. Roof's a brand new roof, looks good. And then coming around here, got more bushes touching the walls. But uh, there's another corner pop. Um, Time to caulk and paint the garage door trimmer so they don't rot. 
and light fixtures should be caulked to the brick. You need a weather cover on that light, that outlet up there in the fascia board. Let's see. Oh, time to paint the lentils. The garage door lint, or not the garage door lentils, but the window lentils have a little bit of rust on them. It's time to repaint those. Let's see. Clean outs, both have covers, that's good. Customer shut off valves accessible. Double checks accessible in the wind. There's the water meter. So, sprinklers are up above the height of the grass, but that's not a problem. Uh, that'll take care of it. So, you take care of some of those items, and the home inspection report's much shorter. Those are just the exterior items. Of course, the inside items are just as important. You want to take care of the inside items as well. Hope you liked the video.